Well, according to one Surrey School trustee, the Surrey School District is quickly running out of space. Lorraine McNally says the city's schools are bursting at the seams and that government intervention is needed. I think folks need to understand we're not a resource town. We're not depending on man uh, on mining or forestry. We're a large urban city with lots of land still to be developed. It wouldn't matter how many schools were built here. We would fill them up. Now, Trustee McNally has since put forward a motion asking the city to suspend any new development until there's more funding for schools. That motion has been unanimously approved by the Surrey School Board. But joining us now to talk about that from the city's perspective is the mayor of Surrey, Linda Hepner. Mayor, good morning. Good morning, Rick. Can you stop development until the schools catch up? Well, I wholeheartedly agree that there are issues that need to be dealt with, but I think the school board trustees uh, really need to understand that the solution is not as simple as putting a halt on development. I think uh, what we're seeing here is the need to update the current policy on how new schools get the green light to be built. What we need to do is move from the current model of waiting for that demand to arrive and that demand to show consistency, which is what is currently required under the uh, existing model for new school construction. Be- and before any new school can be built, it has to be overcrowded, and it has to be consistently overcrowded. Which doesn't make any sense. Well, that's, that's the policy that needs, uh, that needs to have a, a, a relook, and that's been in existence for some 40 years. You have city plans. You know where the development is going to go. Why don't you build schools in anticipation of that growth as opposed to reacting to that growth? I think that years ago there was a bit of a, a, a sting when the growth didn't happen. But uh, I think that we could show that consistently over our growth strategies and over the last several decades, that simply uh, uh, has not occurred. So I think it is a question of getting in front of uh, the development as it occurs and making sure that those schools are there. But right now, freezing development is not the answer. 